Welcome. Today we're going to install in this consumer's unit this transformer. This can be uh, hooked up to uh, bells uh, as well as uh, a ring doorbell or any of the new fangled uh, doorbells. Um, but we're just going to quickly go through uh, installing this. Uh, first step is let's turn off the power, not just here, but also in the main unit outside. Well, it's all opened up and we're just going to flick this down to off. Everything's stopped now and uh, we should be good to go. Yeah, got it. Yeah, go ahead. Now we're going to uh, just open it up. Keeping it held just on one side. Don't need two people for this, but uh, we've got both of us here, so we might as well. Okay. Okay, now we've got the consumer unit itself. What we've got is we've got some empty spaces here. We can actually just flick them out by making sure that it's uh, just pressed like that. Oh, well, if I could. There we go. Just needs a little bit of a wriggle. It's got some nice catchments in this uh, consumer unit. Let's just put that on the floor and we're going to just park it right there. I've already actually bought the wire through um, for the actual doorbell actually using uh, one mil wire. Um, know that it's used for lights, you could use something smaller, but you, you'll end up getting a bit of interference in the consumer unit. There's also a supply going into the garage, which is also coming out from here, and there's a grommet installed. <laughs> Pulled the actual wires through, and you can see them just coming in there, and they're already fished through into this section here, so we've got the positive, which will just go to the 24 volts. Let's pull that out. I can get it. There we go. And then there's also a uh, the other wire, which should just be behind there. Let's just fish that out. Excellent. So now we've got the top two wires for the 24 volts. That's going to go against the uh, transformer just up there. And now let's just actually connect it. There's um, multiple bars here uh, uh, across the top for the neutral and the live supply. We're going to use the right hand side, which is actually for the uh, ground floor. Um, it already looks like it's being cut and then there's um, no space for actual additional live. We're going to actually take the live from the 6 amp lights, um, move it round to the back up around and then into the actual transformer from below then the neutral we're going to make sure that we're actually taking it from the neutral supply which is actually represents the ground uh, uh, MCBs um, that, that have already been um, uh, 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 placed here. Uh, we've got to be careful not to actually put it against the main supply which is coming through going to the two uh, places which is uh, in, in this consumer unit uh, uh, ground floor and first floor and um, not to use the uh, uh, upstairs which is first floor uh, otherwise we'll end up tripping the uh, transformer so let's go ahead and do just fishing the neutral through a little bit niggly Okay, actually put in a, a little hoop as you can just see across the top and then going to connect it just above. There you go, nice, fit in quite nicely. And then should be fairly tight and then give it a little click. <laughs> Now feeding the live through. It's a it's a smaller wire and thankfully we've got the six amp just here. So should open that up a little bit more. What actually helps is uh, maybe some nose uh, pliers. They're actually quite useful. Let's give it a try. Um, 
and take that. Good enough. Just tightening up the wire slightly. Okay, so across the transformer, we've got our wires that are coming in from outside, which is for the doorbell. And we're gonna just make sure that we um, place the neutral on the zero and the live wherever we want the voltage to consist of. So if our doorbell only required eight volts, we'd plug it into this port here. If uh, we required 12 volts or you needed 12 volts, then we'd use uh, this one there. But um, as we're gonna use the full 24 volts, we're gonna use the uh, last one, which is just there. So we're just gonna click that up. Now you can do this in the consumer unit itself. We just found that there's a bit tight there, so we'll do it outside and then we'll just click it in. It should be fairly simple to do. Okay, got the neutral in as well. Now the actual supply is what we'll do next. So to clip it in, we're just organizing uh, the wires here, which you can do as well. Do the top first and then the bottom. Just positioning it, making sure that we're not hitting any wires. And then across the bottom, just there, we'll just flick that up. And just flick that up slowly. Oh. Cord. Problem there, it was off the tracks. Had to reposition it because it was really off it and it wasn't actually clicking in. Now it's a lot looser, so you can just give it a nice little click and then now it's fully supported. Next step is going to be to take the uh, neutral, which we're going to use the right hand side because we've got live um, to the, uh, sorry, live to the right and neutral to the left in this board just to be consistent and then just screw them in. One thing that actually helps is to just make sure that the, the tracks themselves are fully open. Just makes life a lot easier when I'm um, actually putting it in. A number of times I have actually found when, the, uh, when placing in the wires, if it's not fully open, it just ends up causing an issue. There we go, I was a little bit out of focus, apologies for that. Okay, perfect, now in. We just um, give the wires a slight tug just to make sure that they're not gonna come out. Do the same thing across the bottom, and they look good. Now the next step is, is let's just turn off the um, lights, let's turn off the ground and let's actually go and turn on the outside, then we'll turn on the inside and we'll slowly check each one of them to make sure that it doesn't trip. Turning it on, turning on the main, lights have turned on inside which is always a good sign. Let's turn on the protection and Lights are good. Okay, we're good, nothing's tripped. What we now need to do is just make sure that there is actually a 24 voltage on this uh, and we can check the lights. But for all intents and purposes, actually complete here. We'll just do the testing before the ring doorbell install. Do that on the uh, next video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, we didn't put the uh, panel on, so <laughs> we should do that. And um, we'll just show you. Um, sometimes they, it can be a bit tight, might need to do a bit of uh, wriggling around, so do bear that in mind. So just going to turn this over. Also, we did open up the uh, consumer unit, forgot to add the, uh, the terminal front cover, but it's uh, on now, so we should be good to go. Slowly putting it back on.